Jake here, and for this video, I wanted to give you an honest review of the Eero Pro Mesh Wi-Fi system. Uh, I bought this about a year ago, so we've used it in our house for a year now. Our house is a little over 3,000 square feet, um, two stories, so we put one Eero in the living room, one in a further bedroom, and one in another further bedroom on the second floor, and we've had nothing but issues with Eero. Um, so I, for the pros, I'll say that the, the design is, is nice when you feel them, they feel strong, um, heavy, like high quality with the metal and the plastics, but their performance has been terrible. Um, within the first month of getting the Eero, we had a dropouts, so I called their support line and they walked me through a few things that seemed to get a little bit better and then it just started getting worse and worse. Um, I've moved them to different locations. I make sure there's no interference nearby and we, we, we limped it through for a year but at the year point we just got fed up with Eero. So um, I want to let people know that their support was very challenging. Um, they even told me on the support line that Aero devices are not compatible with Apple devices and the fact that as your Apple device roams, meaning that it goes outside the range of the first Aero device, it will not switch over to the next Aero device very well or very quickly. So what happens is you may be watching a YouTube video and you roam outside the distance of the first Aero and it won't connect to the next one that's closest to you. And so you get constant YouTube pauses, you get web pages that don't load consistently, and you also get Facebook and other social media where you can't keep scrolling because it just loses connectivity or bandwidth. Uh, on the pros, the signal strength is excellent. Um, it always had a strong signal, at least on the iPhone um, strength meter. But for some reason, even with a strong signal, we would get dropouts. And so I have a MacBook Pro. My wife has MacBook Pro. I have a couple Windows machines, and we use iPhones, and it was nothing but issues with those type of devices. We were running uh, these arrows with about 40 network devices connected, Wi-Fi switches, things like that, and it would not serve the purpose for us. Now, these are very expensive over $499, so that's like $550 out the door. You should not be having these type of issues with the Eero. I even had two of the Eeros connected to this LAN Wi-Fi, um, sorry, LAN Ethernet port in the back, so it wasn't even doing Wi-Fi from the device to the computer, so that wasn't an issue, but um, that didn't make it any better. And so before I got rid of these, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't our setup or our network. So I ordered a TP-Link mesh network. They look very similar. It's this one right here. And these were $169. They're a bestseller on Amazon. You can see I purchased them on June 19th. And I put these devices right next to the Eros. I thought, hey, let's experiment. Let's put every one of these in the same spot of the Eero and see if it's not a location issue. And then we started slowly um, putting more and more devices on this TP-Link instead of the Eero, and they were just solid. We've had no dropouts. Every web page loads quickly. YouTube videos never pause for us. A Roku never pauses, and these TP-Link mesh Wi-Fi solved all of our Eero issues. Um, I would love to say that Eero was just a setup problem, but after about four phone calls with Eero support, I know that um, I did everything that the company knows about their device and it still did not solve the problem and in the last month towards the end we were on waiting calls with Eero for over 45 minutes so I know COVID's going on but over 45 minutes to get help for your $500 Wi-Fi mesh network is just not going to work for me so we decided to move on uh, we'll get rid of the Eeros if someone wants to purchase them shoot me a message otherwise we'll throw them up on eBay or Facebook and see if someone else wants them but I highly suggest these TP-Link uh, they're called Deco Mesh Wi-Fi 
in, in a house two stories over 3,000 square feet. We're getting complete coverage, no dropouts. We have over 50 devices connected now, and I'm extremely happy with them. They operate on 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. That's important because you get a faster Wi-Fi on 5 gigahertz, but the range is diminished. So if you're outside the 5 gigahertz range, it will use the 2.4 gigahertz, and that will give you better range with a little bit slower speed, maybe down to like 30 megabits a second, which is not bad at all. Also, I love their app. Their app is very easy to use. The setup was easy, and there's actually a toggle switch, so you can turn off 5 gigahertz um, antennas temporarily, which is very helpful for when you set up Wi-Fi switches and other cheaper devices that don't use 5 gigahertz. That way it won't get confused and bounce back that it can't add. So I love that feature in the app that you can just toggle off the 5 gigahertz signal, set up the device, and then turn it back on. So here's my honest review of the Eero Pro. I suggest you do not purchase the Eero products. Um, we do have Eero still at our cabin, but I think soon enough I'll be getting rid of that as well. All right, well, I hope this video is helpful for some of you. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.